Michael Kugelman is Senior Program Associate for South and Southeast Asia for the Wilson Center's Asia Program. He joins us today to talk about President Obama's trip to India. Michael, welcome back to NOW. Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. So this trip will mark a first for an American president, uh, right? Tell us about the circumstances and the unique role he'll play in this celebratory parade. Right. On several levels, there, there, there are several firsts here. One is that he's the first uh, U.S. president, first sitting U.S. president to make two trips to India. That's a big deal, and it's getting a lot of play uh, in India already. And of course, second of all, he's the first U.S. president, first sitting U.S. president to participate as the chief guest at this Republic Day uh, what commemoration. What is the Pro Republic Day celebration? You know, it, it's hard to explain. I guess you could think about, uh, on the one hand, uh, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Think <laughs> of that, and think about a real fancy air Minus show. underdog. Minus, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's a common, it's really an opportunity to showcase India's uh, military might. So it's a parade where you see all types of fancy, impressive military hardware, but you also have cult cultural celebrations. Uh, the, all types of people march in this parade. It's, it's a really big deal. I mean, Republic Day is not the same thing as Independence Day in India. They're two separate holidays, but it is one of only three national holidays that India has. How typical is it to invite a foreign leader to be the chief guest? Oh, it, it, it's quite typical. I mean, generally, a head of state uh, will be invited before. Uh, and typically, countries that are have good relations particularly good relations with India. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think the fact that Obama was invited this year says something about uh, where India wants to go in its relations with uh, the U.S. And, and are, are we there? Would you say this is a high-functioning relationship between two countries? It, it's a complicated relationship. It certainly has come a long way from how it was 20, 30, 40 years ago, especially during the Cold War era when these U.S. and India really didn't talk to each other at all. Uh, mm -hmm. The U.S. was closer to Pakistan in those days than it was to India. Uh, really, over the last few years, um, over the last few decades, things have gradually been on the upsurge. Um, the George W. Bush administration um, had a particular interest in getting things right uh, with, with the Indians. Um, so things are, were looking pretty good. Uh, in late 2013, there was a big crisis in which a, an Indian consular official in New York um, was arrested, strip searched uh, in, in New York. This really plunge the, cri the relationship into a crisis as it had never experienced for a long time. But interestingly, since Modi came to power, uh, things have really um, been looking quite good. Modi had a very successful visit here uh, in Washington last year, and now Obama is going is, to India. I'm guessing that's not by accident. Has this been a priority of Prime Minister Modi to in increase the level of cooperation with the U.S.? Yeah, I mean, Modi is someone that wants to increase India's uh, presence and stature on the world stage. And obviously, a, a one way of doing that is to reach out more to the United States and to try to have a deeper, uh, warmer relationship with the world's sole superpower. And there's a bit of irony here, because as I'm sure you know, before Modi became prime minister, uh, he was uh, chief minister of Gujarat state in India. And he was essentially um, forbidden from coming, from visiting the United States because of allegations of his role in, in ethnic riots in Gujarat um, a number of years ago. But all of a sudden, he's the now new he's main man. he's hosting the president. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Now, wh what are the most important issues between the two countries, uh, either whether bones of contention or strategic importance, or, you know, positive, negative? I mean, there are a lot on, on both ends, uh, as and, and in fact, positive and negative. Um, I think that the, the Indians and the Americans have a, an extremely deep, strong, and uh, really uh, just a very special trade economic relationship that is really um, uh, intensified by the role of the U.S. business community, which has always been interested in having a lot of trade and investment in India, particularly in regards to the IT sector in India, which is globally known. Um, but at the same time, uh, it's very difficult for American companies to open up shop in, in India. India is notorious for its red tape, for its corruption. It can take days and weeks and months to open a business in India. So, you know, trade, trade is really one of the big victories and successes of the relationship, but it also is one of the big challenges, one of the big tension points. Will, will there be anything that uh, we could... Uh compared to the surprise after the China trip where the climate deal was announced. Do you have any expectation on that level that something very significant could be announced between the two countries? No, and I, I know the Indians always want some sort of splashy mm -hmm. achievement, some sort of big announcement that could be made. But uh, I, I don't expect anything. Uh, a number of years ago, the U.S. and India concluded a, a civil nuclear accord, which was seen as a huge achievement. And I think that expectations have been perhaps a bit too high since then, that anything could be achieved along those lines. And I think um, when Obama was last in India in 2010, 
he made an announcement that he would support the idea of India having a, uh, a permanent seat in the UN Security Council. That was very rhetorical, but that was a big, splashy announcement, too. I really don't expect that much. I imagine there will be announcements of some uh, energy, energy deals, some economic uh, cooperative accords, uh, and there could be some uh, discussion of, of smaller scale things in terms of defense deals and things like that. But I don't expect a huge milestone uh, big achievement. I just don't think that we're there yet. Uh, final thought, Michael. Uh, from the Indian perspective, what makes this trip a success f from the perspective of India? Just the fact that it happened in the first place? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's exactly right. Um, I think that India wants to be seen as a key player in the global stage. And what better way to, to demonstrate that than to have the President of the United States attending one of the most prestigious festivals in India? Um, and I, I think that that's, that's really where it stops. I, mean, I think that the Indian strategic and political elite um, are not naive. They realize that there's not going to be, in all reality, any sort of major achievement to come out of this. So that the mere fact that Obama is coming, and really for the second time, uh, I think that in, in of itself is a, it will qualify as a success for India. Great. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you.